A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the... Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. I want to talk to you. Are you coming? You. Something going on? You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. 
I'll give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown taller. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. 
I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bagrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, Father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow! Alone and toothless in a bed of straw! Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new.
Sarah's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harald may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Let's go! Make for the dark! that Harold is banning raids in all of Norway? I did. Does that not bother you? If we cannot raid anyone... I have not had the win all day. I must turn this around. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian ways! Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Cut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take Jodve's spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Jodve's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Huh? 
How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home... ...there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga, in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the south of the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. 
I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have to join their army. They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory he brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. into town than use this.
get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. That's quite nice. Soothing. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that could it be the staff? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. Sorry. Just take it easy. I'm trying. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave? Well, it overturns a few hundred years. Apart from that, it's... Can we talk about this thing I'm... Ah, the mood stabilizer. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I've... There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. Sean, what happened last year, I... I understand. And you're old t Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of what... Then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. I know. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? You're right. Let's have a look.
All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go.
she is. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy we'll to have my feet on solid ground again. Enough. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Ramvi, take in your oars! All standing!